Let's have a closer look at the Audi S1 Hunitron. It's a modern design of the legendary Audi S1 Pikes Peak, but there are some interesting aero features we can discuss. First of all, it's an electric car with the battery between the axles and of course all-wheel drive. At the front we have the iconic front wing, which is slightly cambered but not too aggressive and without gurney flap. Behind it is the massive Audi single frame inlet that is completely blanked here, so it's not really an intake. Instead, it's guiding the air upwards behind the Audi logo and it exits the bonnet. So you take very little energy out of the airflow and you can use it further downstream. And there are two Naker ducts on the bonnet that could be used for driver cooling. The real arches are not as aggressive as the original Audi S1s with sidewalls and gurneys but the new ones are much more integrated and smooth. The A-pillar is much flatter and the greenhouse shorter. The center viper looks cool but disturbs the flow, especially on the yaw, for the massive Naker duct on the roof. That one is feeding the water radiators at the back. The side intakes at the rear wheels are blanked as far as we can see at the moment. Instead of the multi-element rear wing, there is a large single element now with modern swan neck mountings that run through the rear window. Audi kept the massive end plates, but angled them and the top. The original job of them was to increase the frontal area at the back while drifting to counteract the side force, or in other words, to be able to drift faster. With this angled design now, this effect is not as strong anymore, but they could potentially produce a bit of downforce while drifting. The back features a large rear diffuser which should work well because the car has a closed underbody because of the battery. It's a real cool reinterpretation of the old design and we will see it drift very soon. How do you like the new S1 Hunitron? Let me know in the comments below.